Hey guys, what's up? In today's video, we are going to go over the Beelman. Now, this element is awesome. You can do it in spins, you could do it as a spiral, but I will say here's the disclaimer. When it comes to this Beelman, you need to have a lot of flexibility. Some people are more flexible than others, so if you are finding that it's kind of painful doing the Beelman or you're having trouble with the Beelman, it's okay, take your time. Do it little by little to build up to that flexibility. Do not force yourself to do the full Beelman position if you're really struggling. We don't want any injuries, so keep in mind to take it piece by piece, little by little. Some people, it takes a lot longer than others, and that's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. So let's go ahead and get started with those four steps to getting your Beelman. All right, you guys, in step one, we are going to talk about how to grab your blade for this Beelman. This is super important because this is different from a regular grab. Um, with the Beelman, this requires a lot more flexibility, so you have to grab your blade right in order to get top flexibility for this Beelman. So when we start this, you can start by practicing this on the wall, or you can be gliding a little bit on the ice. I'm gonna show you both ways. Um, with our demonstrator. So first what we want to do is we want to open up the palm of your hand and make sure the your thumb the, is facing behind you. As you go to grab for that blade, you're going to bend your leg up, look back at your blade, palm up, thumb back, and slide your hand between the arch of the boot and the blade itself and you want to grab your blade now keep in mind when you're doing this and working on this wear gloves just because you don't want to accidentally cut yourself um, especially if you're getting used to this and you are a beginner at doing Beelman's wear gloves to protect your hands so that's how we grab our blade um, our leg is going to be behind us so our arm is going to be back Now we want to do something called the arm flip. So if you notice, when you first grab your blade, your elbow is pointing down. So we want to take it now to the next step of the Beelman, which is to take that elbow and flip it up. So right here, you're going to see our skater. After she grabs, she's going to take her arm, pull her foot up, and then she's going to take that elbow and flip it facing straight up. So this is the first part of the major flexibility of this Beelman. If you're having trouble with this part, just slowly work your way into it and you'll eventually get it. You just need to work on it and get your body used to the actual Beelman and the flexibility of it. You will get more flexible. It will take time. So this is the first major step of the flexibility of the Beelman is this arm flip. All right, you guys, once we do our arm flip, now we want to get our free arm to grab the wrist of the hand that is holding on to our blade. So once you're in that flip arm position, your leg is going to be a bit higher than it was at the start of the Beelman. So it's gonna be a little bit easier for you to go ahead and grab that arm. So you're gonna take that free arm and you're just gonna reach it straight back and reach for your wrist. If you can't reach for your wrist, even if it's more towards your elbow or between your elbow and your wrist for now, that's okay because once again, it's one of those flexibility things that we have to work on. Grab your arm that is holding on to your free leg for this Beelman and this is going to set us up now for our next step. All right, you guys, our fourth and final step of this Beelman is the stretch of the Beelman. So what we want to do is after we have a good hold with both hands, what we're going to do is we're going to take our arm strength and we're going to use our back 
and we're gonna stretch our body up arch your back as much as you can let your back bend back get your shoulders up your chin up and take your hands and pull your legs straight up now when you do this Beelman your ideal goal is to look like a raindrop so once again this is all about flexibility so when you first do the Beelman it might not look like a raindrop you might not be stretching the arms up as much as you want to but it's okay just slowly work your way towards getting to that end goal which is making your body look like a raindrop so this requires a lot of back flexibility so your back's going to have a lot of curving going on especially your lower back and you want to make sure that you have nice posture with your shoulders and your upper body keep your chin up and of course pull that leg straight up as you can see here now these are the four steps of the Beelman. Here is a bonus tip for you guys. You don't need to just work on this on ice. You can work on it off ice. Off ice is huge. So help yourself out, especially with the flexibility of this by working on this off ice. You could do it at home. You could work on the positioning at home. Just hold on to a back of a chair or a couch. Um, make sure you're nice and stable and go ahead, grab the toe, your toes or the toe of your shoe and pull up into that Beelman. Now I will say it is a lot easier to do the Beelman when you have that blade to grab, but um, working on that flexibility, especially off ice, will really help you out with achieving this Beelman a little bit quicker. I will say that some people it might take you a little longer to get this Beelman and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. You just want to make sure you stay nice and safe when you are working on this Beelman. Um, don't push it too much because we don't want to get any injuries. So just do it piece by piece, little by little, and you will get there. Click that little bell so you're notified when my next video comes out. It is top secret, so I'm not telling you guys. You're just gonna have to find out yourself when it comes out. All right, you guys, see ya, bye.